Hey everyone, welcome to the end of April and my April favorites. So let's just hop to it. My goal is one day to have a favorites video that's under 10 minutes. So I'm gonna start with lips. I'm gonna start with what I have on. A lot of these products I've mentioned in earlier videos, so I'm not gonna get into too much description. What I have on my lips is the Marc Gloss Gorgeous Stay On Lip Stain in Lolly. And um, I don't think I showed it to you in the earlier video, but it has like a paintbrush kind of tip. You click it, the goo comes out. This is sort of a cherry reddish pink. This was given to me by Jamie Greenberg, celebrity makeup artist. I can't say her name without saying that. Um, genius celebrity makeup artist. And I really do like this. It gives a nice pop of color, a little bit of gloss that does wear off, not very quickly though, and then gives a nice stain um, to the lips. So I really like it. And I have to say there's a minty tingle to it. Maybe it's making my lips look bigger. Doubt it, but hey, I'll take it. Um, another Marc product that I've been reaching for a lot um, is the Marc, I guess their version of a lip butter called All Butter Now. And there goes my choo-choo train. I really need to learn to turn my phone off. And this one is in, um, is it Baby Me? Yeah, that's my favorite of the colors. It's just a very wearable, soft, come on, pink. And a very moisturizing, doesn't leave the lips dry, very wearable. One of those things you can just slap on and not have to look in the mirror. And I think the packaging is so cute. So I've been going for more of a glowy cheek lately. I don't know why I'm just in the mood. And I've been reaching for my Benefit Rockateur blush that I'm finally just now wearing the writing off of. It's lasted quite a while and it adds a nice little sheen. There's a lot of sheen going on. We'll talk about that in a minute. But I just think this is one of these idiot proof blushes that if you're heavy handed, it blends out really nicely. Um, I'm trying to fake some color in my face. I just feel incredibly pasty white right now. And um, this helps kind of make me feel like I have more color in my face. So that is working out well. In addition to that, there are <laughs> two other things. When I went, I went to LA this month and I had my makeup done, like I said and like you've seen, by celebrity makeup artist Jamie Greenberg. And that video should be coming up in a couple weeks on her channel. I will tweet it when it's out. Um, and she gave me this Marc Touch and Glow, um, they're sh called Shimmer, what are they called? Shimmer Cream Cubes. And this is in the Warm Glow. And I learned a little trick. She put this like all over my cheek and then layered a blush on top of it. And it just gave me this most beautiful, perfect soft glow without too much, I just, I loved it. I'm gonna order the blush she used, but I'll let you see it in her video. And I was thinking, gosh, this looks familiar. I feel like I've had this before. I do. I had ordered <laughs> um, last year the in the old packaging the same thing, the Marc Touch and Glow, but this is in the um, I don't know. What, it doesn't have a color on it, but it's a it's pink, and um, this is more you know bronzy. See, same same stuff. Prettier packaging now with this rose goldy color, but I think this pink works better when I'm really really pale, um, and this gives me a little more color as I'm moving towards my fake summer color. It's all fake. The pasty white is always there. And this is the high-end thing I wanted to talk about. Um, this is has been talked about like a cult status kind of item all over YouTube. And I recently went into a store and they had it and I thought, you know, I need to spend some money. No, uh, I just felt like I needed to try it. I have an obsession with highlighters and now I have the Kevin Aquan Celestial Powder in Candlelight. And you know, it's not as expensive as some things could be. It just looks like, I mean, it looks like nothing. But um, I'm wearing it now and I really swatched the heck out of it. So it's more of a skin tone color. It's not this crazy, like the Balm Mary Luminizer. It's not like that. It just gives a soft gleam. There's no glitter. It's very wearable. And I would say if you're worried about wrinkles or large pores, this would be a great highlighter for that because it's not so glittery and it's very similar, I think, to the Lorac um, Spotlight. So if you're curious, give this a go. I really enjoyed it. I'm really getting into exploring this brand. Last shiny thing, it's not by itself that I love it. It's in combination. It's the L'Oreal Magic Lumi Primer, which I've mentioned before. And what I had been doing is putting this down as a primer and then putting my foundation on top of it. But my favorite, favorite of the moment foundation, way to wear foundation, which frankly is not the way I'm wearing it today and I'm not loving my foundation, is using the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1, which is all gooky, that is a problem, but I use the shade Ivory and I mix it. I do like two pumps or a pump and a half of this on the back of my hand 
and about a half a pump to a pump of this. Mix it together with my fingers, dot it all over my face, and then blend in with a sponge or a brush. And it's just, this can be kind of drying and a little too matte. I'm not really into the full-on glowy foundation right now, so this seems to be like the happy medium. I like it. So that's what's been going on there. Couple more things. I've been playing with color in places that I don't normally wear color, like eyeliner. And two that I've been using kind of interchangeably all month. The first one is what I have on here. It is the Rimmel Scandalize in Turquoise. And I will swatch it on my other hand for you because I'm running out of space. Really bright, turquoise. I have to say, out of all of my eyeliners, I like the Rimmel ones the best. They just set. Once they're set, they're not smudging. And every other one, even the one I'm about to show you, smudges on me, even when it's not supposed to. The other one that I love, the, I love the color, and I love how she used this. Jamie used this on my eyes when she did my makeup. It's the, and she gave it to me. It's the Avon Super Shock Gel Eyeliner Pencil in Cobalt. I already own the black, brown, and purple of it. I had ordered it a little while ago. And I like how she used this. I was just too much in a rush to try it today. First she, lined my line, first she lined my eyes with a black gel eyeliner, and then she layered this kind of over it and smudged over it, I think is what was going on there. So it wasn't this full on blue, like what I have on now. And the color itself is not in your face crazy. It's like a navy blue, but it's just beautiful. It's a beautiful color. I do find that it kind of smudges on me. Um, so I have started to set it with a colorless, like um, the MAC, what is it, Prep and Prime, the white powder. That helps you, right? Okay, so I set it with a tiny little brush that adds no color to it, but that seems to really set my eyeliner and not make it budge. And then the last product, I'm just making sure I cover everything. The last product is expensive. I did order it on sale. I'm not gonna give a full on review because I haven't used it quite long enough with skincare, I like to give it like almost a month before I tell you anything. But um, I saw that Colleen Rothschild was having a sale, and I'll do a full on review, like I said, about all of the products, because this wasn't the only thing I got. But um, I saw she's having a 20% off spring sale, and so I thought, you know what? I tried another cleansing balm that I liked the experience. I've never tried a cleansing balm before. I really enjoyed the experience, but I saw that the ingredient list included mineral oil, which I know is a bad thing for your skin. And I remembered vaguely after I used it a couple of days in a row that I don't think my skin likes it. And sure enough, bam, broke out. But Colin Rothschild has all the same ingredients as the other brand without the mineral oil. And so it's just a cleansing balm. It looks like candle wax. If I open this, it doesn't have the consistency of candle wax, but it, I've been taking some big chunks out of it. It smells lovely, I'll do the review later, but I've used it like three or four nights in a row. My husband had been out of town, he came home late last night, I popped my head up from the pillow, it was almost midnight, and he looked at me and he said, wow, your skin looks really nice. So, thank you Kelly Rothschild, because I love this stuff and I will be repurchasing. Now, book recommendation slash TV show recommendation, and then we're done. Um, so I discovered that I have, um, I have Uverse, which is like a, kind of like a cable thing, if you don't know what that is, uh, sort of, I guess, like Sky in the UK or Comcast, and, um, I found because I am a subscriber of HBO that I have on demand all the Game of Thrones episodes ever made. So I don't know how I decided to start, but uh, this month, basically, I started watching all the Game of Thrones episodes and I'm almost caught up. I am in the current season. I just haven't gotten to the last... I've only seen the first episode so far. Anyway, um, really, really love it. Started watching it with my almost 16 year old son, then realized very quickly that that would be awkward and uncomfortable. So we, um, if we do watch together, we fast forward. There is lots of nudity, like full on frontal boy and girl, or I should say man and woman nudity. So probably not, a, you shouldn't watch it with your kids, just don't. But after I watched season one, I realized that maybe the book wouldn't be so challenging to tackle because I could keep track of the characters in my head now that I knew the plot line and who all they, they all were. So I got book one, downloaded it on Kindle. Amazing. The best experience reading a book after I'd seen the TV show or movie version of it. Usually a TV show or movie ruins a book. Not so in this case. In fact, 
at least for season one so far, the dialogue is spot on. It's like they, they literally took the dialogue out of the book and put it on the screen. So it's just fabulous. Go get Game of Thrones. I've just downloaded book number two and I will link both of those, all of them, I'll link them all below and love Game of Thrones. So I am addicted even though it's sick and twisted and sometimes I hate the author. I love it. I love it. And I know it's coming and I'm, I'm happy because karma is a bitch, King Joffrey. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Doubt this is under 10 minutes, but um, I've had a great month. It's been a month of amazing experiences and lots of new friends and new subscribers. And so I'm very grateful for April. Looking forward to May. Hope you all had a great month and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.